What's up YouTube, Blake Everton coming to you with another video here, beautiful Miami morning on the balcony, water is beautiful. I wanna have a conversation about business credit and in particular, the myths around it and the limiting beliefs that I'm noticing a lot of people have and that's not their fault, it's due to a, just a basic misunderstanding of how banks lend and what I'm so passionate about and what my partner Yad are so passionate about is setting the record straight with how the system actually works. So our clients can get the results they need and actually secure more credit for their business because credit is the lifeblood of business of businesses it, it, it is what has allowed so many entrepreneurs especially online business owners to start with nothing and generate return off of that credit take a chance on themselves so what i want to harp on on this channel is your ability to arbitrage capital that is directly proportional to your income your wealth your income then how rich you are and then your wealth okay how can you arbitrage capital. If you're a poor allocator of money, your income and thus your wealth will grow more slowly than the person who is a better allocator and a better arbiter arbitraging that capital. Okay, so the goal is to acquire the most. But the problem is, as a new business owner, without business tax returns, you are severely limited with the type of business credit you can get. That's not the marketing ploy that all these people on the internet take. They say you can get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of business credit right off the bat. Now, what you have to understand is that applies to a very select few of people. Why do I know this. I know this because for the past three years, I've been working one-on-one -on -one with clients and I see all the files that come through. I see when someone has the documents to secure business capital immediately versus someone who has to focus on personal funding because they do not have business tax returns. So let's dive into that a little bit deeper. Okay. If you are employed and you're just opening your LLC, your goal, without a doubt, you need to remove the need for business credit. Meaning, yes, you do want to get business credit, but you also need to expand what credit is is in your mind. Personal and business credit, almost the same thing. Very, very close. As you're building your business, right when you're starting, you it's very unlikely that you're going to get 100, 200, 300k of business lines of credit if your personal credit is not properly scaled. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that when you are doing your first sequence, you need to focus on doing both personal funding and business funding. It drives me nuts when people are, clients in particular, are so focused on just business credit, when in reality, they could get three, four, five times more money if they did personal as well. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that personal credit cards, 0% interest and fixed rate, personal lines of credit, fixed rate, personal loans, all of these products help you get business credit in the future. Okay, anytime you're asking for business credit, this, this point is lost on so many people. It needs to be said, and I'll probably say it three more times. When you're getting doing business apps, they're going and you're doing under two mil in gross sales each year, which is a lot of you. They are looking at your personal report. When they're looking at your personal report, what are they seeing? Are they seeing no? credit cards, no lines of credit, no loans, no history, no credit mix. If they're not seeing any of that shit, you better temper your expectations for how much business credit you're going to get because comparable credit is how you get business credit. If you only focus on your business credit profile, you're going to miss out on your ability to open new businesses where you cannot borrow off that business credit profile. You're going to miss out on the opportunity to get large amounts of funding on the new business. What do I mean by that? As you build your business report and you want to open up a new business and get business credit under that, there's no business tax returns on that new business. There's no financials on that business. So the banker, the underwriter, the financial institution, what they need to do is they need to look at your personal report. They need to see how much money do you make personally? Give me some pay stubs. Give me tax returns, schedule C if you're self-employed. What are, how good are you as an allocator of capital and what current limits do you have? Are they high? Are they low on your personal credit cards? If you have shit limits, they're going to give you shit business limits. So again, remove the need for only business credit. You need to get both. If you just focus on business, then anytime you want to open up a new LLC and your personal report's not optimized, you're not going to get the max amount of funding. As I'm growing my business, I don't even have two years of business tax returns. I'm close. Once I hit that two years of business taxes, the amount of credit products on the business side that open up to me are substantial. But to get to that point, I had to rely heavily on personal credit cards. Why? Because banks would not issue business credit cards to a new business. They would issue personal credit cards because my personal finances were in order. But on a new business, without any uh, track record, so to speak, your ability to get those accounts is significantly diminished. So don't, do not be that that person that holds yourself back by saying, I only want business funding. That's not to say it's bad. Business funding is bad. It's great. Obviously, that's the one that that's the type of credit most people want. But you need to you need you need to ask yourself, how badly do I want this credit? What can I do as an entrepreneur to flip this money? And if you know you can flip that money, then your goal is to get as much of it as possible that at the lowest interest. And that may be in the beginning, more personal counts. Now, that is a beautiful thing. Why? Because when you walk into that institution and you file a new LLC, 
Are they gonna see an average limit of 3K, 5K? Or are they gonna see an average limit of 25K, 40K, 50K? What are they gonna see? If they see a higher average, they're going to give you more. That is a fact, and it's been proven because I've seen it time and time again. When clients come to me and their file, their personal file is fat, meaning it's thick, it's deep, it has many accounts over a long period of time, perfect payment history, and they're 800 plus, yeah, they're getting a lot of business credit. But when I have someone come to me and they're, the expectation is, I want 300 grand of business credit, or I want 200K of business credit, and the personal file simply does not like support having limits that high on the business side, I simply tell the client, look, we're going to have to change. First, I need to educate you on some things. It's not your fault. You don't know them, but I need, we need to first handle this before we can actually get into your round. I'm passionate about this stuff, guys, because I live it day in and day out with my clients and it is a labor of love. But man, like school systems don't teach us this. Okay. The only way I learned was through trial and error on my own file, educational content, like the one you're consuming here on YouTube for years. So I'm going through my own funding round here in uh, March, March or April. By that time, I'll have 1.2 million dollars in credit that I've scaled over the past three years. Now, I can't do that out of my ass. It's been strategic and I've applied the same things I teach my clients. I apply them with myself. In fact, the loop is reverse. I apply them with myself, see if things work, and then I apply it with my clients. And then the more feedback and data I get from my clients, that helps me try new things with my own file, credit file that is. So if you've watched the whole video, thank you. Maybe this pissed you off. Maybe you have a different view. I'm very curious to hear what you have to say. I'm always going to say I do not have it figured out, but I have a very good idea of how this credit game works because I've been doing it every single day, literally for the past three years on calls. If you were my client, you understand because I was on a call with you and we were in the trenches and I was explaining these things and they were working in real time. So really passionate about this stuff. Super excited for our funding course to drop. It's coming. E2 Funding Vault. It's going to be extremely exciting. Anyone who decides to purchase that product, you're going to get literally a vault of information that took my partner and I years to curate, come up with, and we're so excited to bring it to you. So what you experience in this video is, is simply a taste. I'm not here to sell you on anything. I'm here to educate. And that's what this video was. If you're trying to get the most amount of credit, if you're trying to make the most amount of money, in order to do that, you need to expand your mind with what credit means. You have to be okay. You have to be okay with your utilization increasing. Yes, you're going to be in a little bit of debt. If you're growing your business, that's normal. And knowing that that gets you to more the greater frontiers of business credit. Okay. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for listening. And we're going to keep these rolling. And there's a lot there. There's a lot of things I want to say future videos. So look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.